Hi there guys. You know, in one of my last videos here, I got a little flack for taking this fish home and flaying him while he was still alive. Anyways, um, I've seen those comments before and I wanted to address that. You know, about whether or not uh, fish actually have feelings. And if they do, um, why it's probably a bad thing to fish for them in the first place. So, anyways, before I discuss it, first let's go out and catch a fish. Well, there's the big, mean, rusty hooks that I plan on sinking into a fish's face. <laughs> Today's lure of choice was a uh, subsurface lure. But it was picking up a lot of grass. I paddled over to some sandy areas, like this big sandbar right here. There didn't seem to be any fish around. They were all out there, where the grass was thick. It was beautiful. It was really, really thick grass. The type that your, the head of your paddle would disappear when you put it down into the grass. And here and there, there were these potholes. And these potholes were filled with fish and lots and lots of bait fish. So since the uh, artificial wasn't working, I had the idea of taking advantage of all these bait fish. So I got the cast net out. And it only took one throw. <laughs> I had myself a net full of little pilchards. Now it was time to see if I could catch a fish using live bait. I hope the bait fish aren't mad at me for being cruel. <laughs> it didn't matter. That little bait fish didn't have long before somebody came up and put him out of his misery. Very lucky fish. Oh well. He's not a uh, redfish or a flounder, but it's not a fish I haven't eaten before. Let me get 
this hook out of you. <clears throat> Jack are definitely fish you can eat. But uh, this particular fish is going to get to go home. Ready? One, two, three. If I was going to take that fish home, I would have uh, cut him and bled him out. Let me get out of the channel here. Anyways, the, uh, the comment that I got, it, um, it was about how I should bring a bat with me on the kayak, and if you're going to bring a fish home, you, you, you bash them in the brains, and uh, it kills them so that they don't suffer. And I've, I've been thinking about that comment a lot lately. And it's not the first time I've thought about it, but this is the first time I'm going to address it because uh, I come out a lot of times looking to fish just uh, for sport. And um, one of the things about fishing for sport is that a lot of times you bring the fish to the boat and you rip its lip, you know, before you let it go. And there's nothing nice about that either. I mean, I've seen people with uh, that logo on their on their trucks rip a lip, you know, like they're proud of it. And I mean, I I never feel good about that. It's an unfortunate side effect of um, you know fishing. Sometimes even if you plan on releasing the fish and you don't want to kill it, you know, you can handle it and pull its slime layer off, or you can rip its lip. And um, this is never good for the fish. So uh, I, I think about that all the time, and what helps me get over that is thinking that fish don't feel pain like you do and like I do. Uh, <laughs> that's my hope, at least. My hope is that uh, when you catch a fish and you're going to bring it home uh, to put, you know, for the table, that fish is not out of the water, <laughs> you know, it's just, just struggling and choking. I mean, that fish is just kind of like. I mean, its brain is this tiny, this big. I don't believe that there's any room in there for, um, for pain, like, again, like, like humans feel. People are quick to think that, uh, you know, if you, if you let it suffocate, it's going to be suffering and it's a, the best humane thing to do to uh, put it out of its misery. But um, if they do feel a lot of pain, then simply fishing for them, even if you're going to release them, is not a cool thing to do, you know, because you're, you're potentially put in, putting them in, in, in pain. So I like to think that they don't feel that. I like to think that, you know, when they're out of the water, they're like, huh, look at this, you know, they're like, that's, that's pretty cool. You got a boat and there's birds and trees up here and, wow, that's pretty neat, you know. <laughs> um, I like to think that, uh, they're not suffering. They're, they might be a little afraid, but um, you know, even though they're suffocating to death, they're not really in pain. Uh, that's again, that's my hope. I don't know for sure if they if they do or if they don't. They certainly don't act like they do. Um, sometimes they're very calm while they're out of the water. You would think if they were feeling a lot of pain, they'd be struggling until they were dead. So it's just, um, it's my philosophy. I, I don't think that fish are suffering that much. Um, ultimately, when you bring them home to eat them, you're killing them. So um, I understand what people say. I mean, you know, sometimes I catch a redfish and I look into the redfish have like almost like dog eyes. And they'll look at you, you know, with this, this baleful look like, oh, are you going to kill me? And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you know, um, I do feel 
bad for the fish that I bring home. Not that bad that I'm not going to eat. I mean, it's survival of the fittest kind of thing, you know. That's my thoughts on why I don't uh, bother putting them out of their misery sometimes when I know I'm going to bring them home. I figure let them live or rather let them die on their own rather than, you know, put them out of their misery. Again, I think to myself, they're probably like, you know, I'm out of the water. This is not normal. Um, what's going on? This is pretty interesting. And then here you, you come and you're like, I, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, what, what are you doing? Why are you hitting me in the head? So if they don't feel pain, then maybe by smashing them and killing them right away, you're denying them the opportunity just before they die to see what it's like on this side of the water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just wanted to touch on that subject and see what you guys thought. If you have a philosophy as to whether or not fish do feel pain or not, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think and how you handle fish that you're going to bring home to, fi uh, to eat. Whether you just throw them in ice and let them suffocate or if you knock them out first. Again, that jack that I just released, if you're going to keep a fish like that, it's a good thing to uh, bleed them out because they're their fillets can be real red and dark and acidic if you uh, if you just bring them home whole. Sharks are the same way. They can uh, have nasty meat if you let them live until they die. So there's a reason to knock a fish out. But just for the sake of whether or not they're going to suffer, let me know what you think and how you handle fish when you're going to bring them home to eat. I'm interested. I want to see what you guys think. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving a comment too.